Uh, I, I was always uh, meeting Ned Steinberger at the trade shows, knob shows, mm -hmm. and I saw him once in Tokyo doing a trade show, and, and he suggested we get together and build an instrument. But I didn't uh, re reply right away to that, and, uh, and so a year or two went by, and, um, and then I, I approached him with a project to, uh, to make a, a, a bass guitar instrument with a body on it, with his headless design and a lot of his wonderful uh, um, uh, bridge and nut. Um, he has a lot of technology on this. <laughs> So this is, uh, these are side saddle uh, bridge screws and side saddle nut screws at the headless nut. You know? uh, Ned likes everything headless on his instruments. And, and so I asked him to design a body to evoke that design by having them come backwards to retract instead and having this little butt end at the end. So together we designed everything and um, he did a lot of the technical work with the bridge and nut and his inventions, and also we invented together this, this uh, de uh, disengageable damper that uh, will either leave the strings open so they ring or damp them off like a stick. We're, we're co-designers, uh, Ned and I, and um, everybody's playing their own style on it. And it's meant to be a uh, concession to the bass player who would also like to tap on his instrument and likes the tuning to be like a like a six string bass but with eight strings and although you can put any tuning on this and have a stick tuning too if you wanted uh, this is a bass guitar but it's set up without any compromises for two-handed tapping so with the regular EC stick which is the first time I've referred to it that way by the way it's dedicated to two-handed tapping. And all, you could do other things like orchestral things, but they'd be like one of hundreds of finger effects on it. And mainly it's for tapping. Whereas the NS stick is um, uh, for every bass technique plus tapping. So it's a dual role instrument. <laughs> so it's um, uh, the beauty of it, especially in Don's hand, he's the main prax practitioner of this instrument. <clears throat> there are other players out there all doing their own style, but what Don has incorporated in his playing is something pretty unusual, and that is uh, when you tap a stringed instrument and then you pick and pluck it, the volume changes a lot, but not with Don and ideally not with this instrument. It's supposed to be a seamless transition from, from plucking, picking, to tapping without change of volume, where you have total control of the dynamics of the instrument. The only way you can do that <clears throat> is when the action is set low, is you gotta pick and pluck lightly. Otherwise, it won't work. But you have to pick and pluck lightly on this because the action is set low. Otherwise, the strings will buzz. Yeah, or like with bass, when you dig in, you get a different tone, and sometimes with bass, um, it's a desirable tone. With this, when you dig in harder, you don't. it doesn't get richer or better. The, the light touches what really makes it work. That's right. And also makes it so you can have the... Oops, let's take that again. <laughs> Tapping and plucking and all in the same volume. Right, so that makes it a very versatile instrument. Also in Don's hands, it becomes a four-handed instrument because he, he delegates each hand a different side of his hand a different role. He has his down hand and he has his up hand. One will be <laughs> tapping while the other is plucking. And uh, one will be tapping while the other is plucking the strings with the other hand. So it's it's like a, it's beyond my imagination actually. Mm.
we just had a peace and harmony thing happening. We yes. almost it oh, was, we right. were doing something. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> That's the peace and harmony. That's how you end this. I like it.